This hour, a Chicago teen is in bond court for the murder and robbery of a Southside High School student. Police say on Saturday, Demario Bailey was killed for his coat. His devastated classmates are now undergoing crisis counseling at Johnson College Prep. Anita Padilla has more now from that charter school in the Inglewood neighborhood. That's right. We'll learn more about this case in court at this very hour. The suspect, Carlos Johnson, 17, charged as an adult. He's in bond court, and that's usually where prosecutors lay out more of their case, and we'll learn more. We also know that police said that they're looking for three other individuals, and that's all part of their investigation. But this has been a very devastating day for students here on the south side. Obviously, all of them are impacted by the loss of a classmate, Demario Bailey, who was shot while trying to protect his brother uh, on the south side Saturday as the two of them were walking and coming to a basketball practice here at Johnson College Prep. The two of them were approached by four gunmen. They wanted to rob them, and when he came to aid the aid of his brother, they zeroed in on his coat, and ultimately he was killed for his coat. The devastation was on the faces of his classmates today, and parents reacting, saying parents, other parents, especially parents like those of the gunman need to get involved. You know, when a parent's going to step up and teach their children that it's not about the violence, put the guns down, turn on your brain, and then one of the governors and the lawmakers going to stand up and really see this really is a big issue and it really does need to be addressed. Well, it might be a kind of hard day, but you know, we got to try to get through it. How about your safety? How worried are you about coming to school now? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm a little bit worried, but not that worried. You know, they still try to keep us safe and everything, so. We spoke with one mother whose son was shot in the leg on a separate incident, and he's okay, but this whole shooting made him really frightened to come to class today. He was nervous, and so she had to help him wrap his head around that whole incident. And then the principal says that they are giving crisis counseling to the students as long as they need it. And she says in some way, in some sad way, they're going to have to take this incident and use it and teach the students that they have to push harder in order to get out out of the situations that they currently experience in their own communities. Reporting from the Inglewood neighborhood, Anita Padilla, Fox 32 News, back to you.